Hi, and welcome to our telehealth video information series. I'm Garvin, and this video is on Stellara. So Stellara injection contains the active ingredient Ustekinumab, which is a type of a medicine called a human monoclonal antibody. It works by suppressing part of the immune system and modifying the process of inflammation. So what is Stellara used for? It's used for moderate to severe plaque psoriasis in adults and adolescents over 12 years of age. It's also used for people whose psoriasis has not responded to other systemic therapy, including cyclosporin, metotrexate, or PUVA, and for people who cannot have these types of treatments. It's also used for a form of arthritis called psoriatic arthritis that can occur in people with the skin condition, psoriasis. Stellara is used for adults with active progressive disease that has not responded to treatment with other disease modifying anti-rheumatic drugs or DMARDs such as sulfasalazine. It can be used either on its own or in combination with metotrexate. So how does Stellara work? Stellara injection contains the active ingredient Ustekinumab, which is a medicine called a human monoclonal antibody. It works by suppressing part of the immune system and modifying the process of inflammation. <coughs> Stellara works in a similar way to the natural antibodies produced by our immune system. Our natural antibodies recognize foreign invaders and bind to them, helping our immune system to attack them and protect us from infections. Monoclonal antibodies like Stellara are made in laboratories and designed to recognize particular proteins in a similar way. Stellara specifically recognizes and binds to two proteins produced by the body called interleukin-12 and interleukin-23. And these are involved in causing inflammation. By preventing the action of these two proteins, Stellara helps reduce the inflammation and other symptoms of psoriasis, such as thickening scaly plaques of skin. Preventing the action of these proteins can also reduce inflammation in joints in people with a form of arthritis that can occur alongside psoriasis. This is called psoriatic arthritis. Stellara improves the arthritic symptoms and physical function of the joints in this condition. When treating arthritis, Stellara is referred to as a disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drug. <coughs> so how is Stellara given? Stellara is only prescribed by specialists in the specific disease areas. The Stellara injection is given under the skin subcutaneously. If possible, the areas of the skin that are affected by psoriasis should be avoided. Your doctor or consultant will administer your first Stellara injection. This will be repeated after four weeks and then every 12 weeks. You may be taught how to use the injection yourself so that you can administer the next injections yourself and do not have to visit the clinic. If this applies to you, it is important to make sure you understand what to do and ask questions if you don't. The length of your treatment will be decided by your doctor. This will depend on the severity of condition and the response to treatment. Treatment should be stopped if no improvement of symptoms are seen after 28 weeks. Stellara should be used with caution in people with a dormant tuberculosis infection, people with chronic infection or a history of recurrent infections, people at risk of infections, people who, are or who have recently been receiving treatment that suppresses the activity of the immune system. So long-term oral corticosteroids or chemotherapy, people on those medicines. Also caution in people who have had PUVA treatment, people with cancer or a history of cancer, people who are allergic to latex, as there's latex in the syringe cover, people over 65. And Stellara should not be used in people with active tuberculosis, people with other serious active infections, and women who are pregnant or breastfeeding. So this medicine is not recommended for children and adolescents under 12 years of age. So again, regarding pregnancy and breastfeeding, there is no information about the safety of this medicine if used during pregnancy. 
do not recommend it for use during pregnancy as it could potentially be harmful to a developing baby. It is not known if this medicine passes into breast milk. Women should not breastfeed during treatment with this medicine or for at least 15 weeks after their last dose. So possible side effects of Stellara include inflammation of the nose and throat causing a blocked or runny nose and sore throat, upper respiratory tract infections such as coughs and colds, headache, dizziness, tooth infections, pain in the throat, diarrhea, nausea, itching, back pain, and pain in the muscles or joints, feeling tired or weak, redness and pain at the site of injection, and rare side effects associated with Stellara. So to be serious allergic reactions, including anaphylaxis and swelling of the face, throat and tongue, severe skin reaction called exfoliative dermatitis, which involves widespread redness, scaling, itching and shedding of the skin. So the side effects, as I've just mentioned, do not include all the side effects reported by the medicines manufacturer. For more on the side effects, you need to read the patient information leaflet or talk to your doctor or consultant or your pharmacist. So how can Stellara affect other medicines? This medicine suppresses part of the immune system. This means that Vaccines may potentially be less effective if given during treatment, and the live vaccines may cause serious infections. So live vaccines include measles, mumps, rubella, MMR, BCG, oral polio, typhoid and yellow fever. It is recommended that live vaccines are not given to people being treated with this medicine or for 15 weeks after treatment with this medicine is stopped. So that brings this telehealth video to an end. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or contact me to our website, mytelehealth.info, or call into Lynch's Pharmacy, Douglas Cork. Ring us on 021-436-6923 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.